All right, YouTube. So we got the GTA Box Chevy, which if you've been following my channel, I did the QA1 adjustment. I want to show y'all something. Y'all see, look at my, I don't know if y'all can see, look at my rear end, how it's kind of tilted up. So what I didn't realize that the pinion angle is off, people. The pinion angle is off. So that's really what the uh, upper adjustable trailer arms is for, is to adjust your pinion angle. If you don't need to adjust your pinion, pinion angle, shouldn't be adjusted, but I adjusted them, right? So did a test drive, got a lot of vibration. So with all that vibration and the incorrect adjustments, I'm gonna show y'all the results of what happened. Nothing to hide from God, people. So look at that right there. So the drive shaft basically started slipping out the tranny because I know there's some oil. But I know it's this crazy vibration. So I know I cut the pipe, so I know the pipe was kind of, I thought the pipe, the pipe maybe was, it looked like it was banging here. It looked like it was banging there from before. Um, oh, actually, it was because it looked like it broke. See, it actually broke off. I guess it was here, but crazy vibration. So, as I said, this is the results of, let me get the light, of what's going on. So, what I'm going to try to do, I'm going to try to adjust the upper trailer arm. Hopefully, it pushes this back in to alignment and then I have to, you know, see what's that. So if you take a look, you see it's kind of like, it's, it's not straight. <laughs> it's not straight. So it needs to actually, where the yoke is at, it needs to go up. So that's what I'll be doing right now. I'll be trying to adjust it so it could go back up. So once it go back up, hopefully it slides us back in and we'll be back in business. Wish me luck, YouTube. If you're new to the channel, let me get the kind of angle. If you're new to the channel, my name is Mike Ellis. Like, comment, subscribe. And we're gonna try to adjust this pinion angle because this thing look retarded. Like, it's leaking oil, so. And you know what's funny? I did kinda notice it leaking oil, so. Like, I knew something wasn't right, but you know, just. That's why sometimes you gotta take your time and do things and don't rush. Because you're gonna get little mistakes and then you gotta go back and try to correct it. So that's what I'm trying to do right now, correct the pinion angle. Hopefully I wanted to actually remove this pipe right here and get it reinstalled and get everything buttoned up. So hopefully if I could get this pinion angle back to where it need to be, then tomorrow plan shall happen. All right, like, comment, subscribe.